Hello, it's Monica from EDAC. Today we are going to talk about artificial intelligence in architecture. I will show you how to generate hundreds of images by creating a prompt and uploading a sketch. Let's talk about stable diffusion. Firstly, you need to check if your computer is able to run in stable diffusion. You need to verify three requirements. First, NVIDIA graphic card. To check your graphic card, just press Ctrl, Shift and Escape and Task Manager window will appear. Then click on the Performance tab, it's on the left side, and here you can check your graphic card. Stable Diffusion requires NVIDIA graphics card. Secondly, check if you have at least 4 GB of dedicated GPU memory. You can find it in this place. Additionally, you need 10 GB of free hard drive space. If you meet these three requirements, you can install Stable Diffusion. In the description of the video, you can find a link to the tutorial that shows you how to install Stable Diffusion. Firstly, let's open Stable Diffusion. I have it here on the desktop. If you just install this program, you should go to the folder. This is the Stable Diffusion folder. And here there is a file, web UI user bat. Open this file and the comment prompt has appeared. You need to wait a second until this link will appear. I will copy it. I select Ctrl C and I paste it here. Remember not to close this window. Okay. This is my stable diffusion. Firstly, I need to choose a checkpoint. Remember that you can download many checkpoints. You can download it from this website. I click on the Models tab and let's see that there are many categories, many types of checkpoints. I will choose my favorite one, it's Realistic Vision. And this is my model Realistic Vision V5.1. I click on it and download. That's all. If your file is downloaded, you should put it into the folder. Just go to the Stable Diffusion folder, Models, Stable Diffusion, and here you have Files. And all you need to do is to drag this file to the folder. That's all. Just refresh your Stable Diffusion and change it to Realistic Vision V5.1. Now we can generate images using artificial intelligence. How to do this? Just use text to image and type what image you want to obtain. Let's take a look. I want to obtain living room with plants, big sofa and large window. Let's generate. This is the result. But let's see that I don't have enough control over my image. If you are creating interior design, the best option is to create model, for example, in SketchUp, and then according to this model, create visualization using artificial intelligence. Let's take a look. I prepared SketchUp file of the living room. Let's open it. This is simple interior with models. Firstly, I will change the style. I go to the right side, then I go to the Edit tab and change the style to Display in Hidden Line mode. Thanks to this, I obtain the sketch. Remember that you can always go to the Edge settings and change the profiles and edges. You can turn on Edges and change the width of the profiles, for example, to 2. OK, I will save this view using Print Screen. It's time to install ControlNet extension. You can do it very easily. Just go to the Extensions tab, then Install from URL and paste this link. Click Install, then go to the Install tab and click Apply and Restart UI. The ControlNet extension is installed. I go back to Text to Image tab. To upload the image, I need to expand Control Net, and here I upload my sketch. I select, and that's all. I will enable Control Net option, and let's see that I should set the preprocessor to invert if my image has white background and black lines. This is true. That's why I go to the preprocessor and change it to invert. 
and here I can choose the model. Remember that you can download many models. I use only one model. This is Control Kenny. You can download this model from the website. The link is in the description of the video and also at the top right corner. Just download this first file. Remember that you can always download other models and check the result with them. This time I download Kenny file. And if you downloaded this file, just go to the stable diffusion folder, then extensions, SD, control net, and models. And let's see that here I have all control files which I have downloaded. Just drag downloaded file to this folder. Refresh the model. And now you can choose control Kenny. Okay, I'm not changing anything. I will delete this prompt and let's generate. Let's see that I'm waiting a few seconds to generate the image. Okay, this is my result. It doesn't look perfectly. Firstly, I need to change the resolution. To do this, I go to the width and height values. And firstly, I need to know what resolution has my image. This is my resolution. The width of the image is 1562. I will divide it by two. So I will have 781 and the height is 934 divided by 2 is 467. Thanks to it, I will create the image faster. Let's generate it. Okay, the interior looks very good, but let's see that the artificial intelligence doesn't know exactly what to produce. We need to type it in the prompt window. In this place, you can type what you want to get. For example, the interior design of a modern living room, cozy modern style, with oversized white couch, window on the right side, maybe I will add plants, abstract paintings on the wall, wooden coffee table, white walls. I will focus on the lighting, global illumination, high resolution. I would like to have detailed image, which is photorealistic. So in this window, you can type the keywords which describes your interior. Here I have negative prompt. Here I can type what I don't want to obtain. For example, I don't want to have low quality image or ugly image, poorly designed, with bad proportions, which is blurry or unrealistic. Okay, now I can generate the interior. This is the render. I think that, that this line from the sun is too intensive, so I don't want to have sunlight in the scene. I will add different style, for example, boho style. Okay, now we have something different. The TV is on the wall, so I need to write in the negative prompt TV. And it's much better. Let's create something different. I will change the color of the couch to brown. I don't want to have wood or coffee table, so I delete it and let's generate again. As you can see, according to our image, we can create many, many realistic visualization. We can use them for inspiration or to show our clients some options. We can move on and create something even more interesting. I will change again the color of the couch but let's see that mainly stable diffusion focus on the image. Let's take a look. I click on the second image and according to this image, artificial intelligence creates visualizations. We can change that. Let's see. Control weight means how much emphasis to give the control map relative to the prompt. So if I set control weight to zero, we will notice that our image, which we have uploaded, is not important at all. It doesn't care about the image. If I set control weight to two, we'll get very precise image, which is creating according to our sketch, but it's not very realistic. So you can choose your own value. If I set it to 0 0.8, we can notice that our interior is created based on the image but it looks a little bit different. We have different slab, additional lamps. So control image is not very important this time. I will set it to one. Here I have very important options. I have starting control steps and ending control step. What it means? 
let's assume that we are creating visualization in 10 steps. On each step, artificial intelligence focuses on the image because starting control step is set to zero and ending control step is set to one. If I set starting control step to 0 0.2, it means that in first step and in second step, stable diffusion doesn't care about the image. And after the second step, stable diffusion takes into account our image. Let's take a look. I generate and let's see that my interior looks a little bit different than my sketch. This is because I've set the starting control step as 0.2. Let's change the starting control step to 0.4 and looks weird. Okay, but what about ending control step? If I set it to one, it means that from the beginning to end, my visualization is created according to the sketch. If I set it to 0 0.8, it means that from the first step to the eighth step, my visualization is creating according to the image, but in the last two steps, prompt is much more important than my sketch. Let's see. I generate, it looks very interesting. I will change ending control step to 0 0.7 and my artificial intelligence will be much more creative. Okay, it looks different. I will change the sampling step. If I increase this value, my visualization will have a higher quality. Unfortunately, it will take more time to create the image. Let's say that using stable diffusion, you can create many interesting interior visualizations according to your sketch. I'm sure you will create stunning images using stable diffusion. If you want to watch more video like this, please leave a comment below. Remember to subscribe to the channel and visit my website edac.org with many courses and resources. See you soon. Bye.